Hey, it's Vass here from Aussie Assy Playground and welcome to the return of the Sin Crazy Chaos Reaper. Now, if you're new to the channel or you're just not up to speed with this entire project, I'll give you a quick rundown just so to uh, kind of bring you up to speed with everything. So Sin released the Reaper a while ago, um, or known as overseas as the Colossus XT. And this was a great truck, runs on 6S. It's almost as big as the X-Max. Um, some would even say that it rivals it. Some would even say that it's better than the X-Max because it only runs on 6S, it doesn't need 8S. Anyway, Sin wanted to send me out some upgrades for the Reaper. And uh, you know there were some new shock seals, and uh, they had some carbon fiber plates for the chassis, you know, to replace the original aluminium chassis, and a couple other bits and pieces. And I said, well, look, rather than me kind of tearing this one apart to install all these upgrades, why not send me out a roller with all of these things already on there, and I could build like a nice little project, and you know, put a new uh, power system in it, maybe run it on 8S. And so the whole thing just kind of developed, and it it, it became the crazy chaos reaper. So the motor of choice that I had, well, the motor that I had chosen at the time was this one. It's a TP Power. It's 40 millimeters by 170 millimeter, 107 millimeters long. Uh, it's a 1520 kV, has a big eight millimeter shaft running right through it that's milled down to a five millimeter uh, at the end so that you can you know, use your standard Mod 1 pinion gears with it. And this is a very powerful motor. Uh, on 6S, it was giving me more power than the original stock system. Uh, obviously, being a bigger, a bigger, more powerful motor, it, it did that. And of course, on 8S, it almost rendered the truck undrivable. There was so much power going through this thing. Um, I just, I could barely get over half throttle. The thing just wanted to, to flip on, you know, at any given point during the throttle range, just bleep it a little bit. And it was just crazy. It was crazy. And it really lived up to its name. But I had a bit of a problem with this motor. Obviously, it's 107 millimeters long. It's very heavy. This thing weighs about 600 grams, and it's only attached with four screws, uh, you know, or two screws um, on the motor mount here, and then there's four screws uh, on the cap here that goes straight onto the can. And of course, with all the jumping and bashing that I was doing, this thing, every time you land, it was having a lot of leverage, a lot of weight was being put. Um, you know, pushing down on this motor and there's really no brackets or anything to kind of hold this into place unless you can manufacture something to support the motor in some way. It's going to be really hard to use these types of motors on here. Eventually, the, the, the end cap here popped off the main can and upon closer inspection, I found that the screws that TP Power were using are only like five or six millimeters long. Nowhere near long enough to sustain such a heavy motor attached to you know a motor mount that's being constantly you know hammered uh, every time you jump this thing. So uh, I contacted TP Power. I asked them if they could supply uh, you know a motor with maybe 10 or 15 millimeter long screws, something that could really uh, make sure that this wouldn't come off. And they said they could uh, definitely do that. So I placed an order for another motor. They even gave me a little discount for it, which was great. I waited a number of weeks for this motor to arrive. It finally turned up and they sent me the wrong motor. <laughs> not only was it the wrong motor, but uh, the screws were not any longer. They were exactly the same. So then I contacted them and I said, right, you, there's a wrong KV. Uh, I think according to the specs, the motor was only capable of running 6S. Uh, so it was not the same KV as this. I can't remember what it was to be honest. I think it was a higher KV uh, from memory. Um, I said, well, you've sent me the wrong one. Can you please send me the right one? They said, sure, no worries. Send that one back to us and then we can send you a new one. And I said, yeah, but now I'm going to be out of pocket. You know, like you've made a mistake here. You need to correct this. Uh, kind of hoping that they would send me out another motor. They said, no, we'll send you out another one. When you send that one back, we'll reimburse you for the postage. I thought, sweet, this is okay. I, I can deal with this. Uh, posted the motor back. I sent them a photo of the receipt of the postage cost. They reimbursed me a few days later, which was great. And uh, sure enough, I had received my new motor, which was in fact correct. But it took a very long time for this motor to arrive because I think they may have lost my order or something had happened. Anyway, as you can see, this is the motor that I received and it hasn't been used yet. It is still brand spanking new. Um, and I haven't used it and I don't know if I'm going to use it because the screws are exactly the same length as they were with the original one. So I contacted him again and I said, well, you sent me the right motor, everything's right, except the screws are exactly the same length as the original motor, I'm going to have the same problem. They then said to me, well, we had a chat to our engineers, they said they couldn't tap any longer screws in there, uh, but if you go to a machinist, they might be able to do it for you. 
And I'm like, well, hang on a minute. <laughs> We've just gone through this entire ordeal of, can you supply me a motor with longer screws? You said, yes. Now you're telling me, you know, after you sent me the wrong one, I sent it back, like at no time did you say that this couldn't be done. I think at the end of the day, this was all just like done through broken English. Um, and I don't know if they misunderstood me or if, what the, I really don't know. But it's just, it's a real shame that I had this entire muck around. I ordered a new motor um, only to receive something that's exactly, the, that's gonna give me the same problems as that. Um, so that was a bit of a letdown, which is the reason why this motor has been sort of sitting in the box brand new for a number of months now. Um, so this whole project was kind of laying dormant. I didn't know what I was going to do with this truck until a little while ago, um, Hobbywing released some new fifth scale motors or six scale motors. And they've got one in particular that has a five millimeter shaft. I think the other one, they've got three in total. I think two have got eight millimeter shafts, which are really designed for 8S to run on fifth scale cars. But they have one which kind of took my attention because it's a five millimeter shaft and I've already, I'm already using a Max 6 ESC in this when I was running 8S. So I figured this was going to be a perfect opportunity to try out one of these motors and sure enough I bought a motor for the Crazy Chaos Reaper from Hobbywing. It now only runs 6S but I think it still lives up to its name because it's an incredible amount of power. On 6L probably not as much, well I'll be honest, it's not as much as it was on 8S but I think it's more than what this was on 6S so it's kind of like in between and it's a good balance. The truck is a bit lighter. I don't have to run two 4S batteries in there anymore. I'm only running, you know, two 3S. Um, it just seems to work a little bit better just running on 6S. Now, the other problem that I had with this truck was the body. The body kind of cracked and had a big hole here in the middle when I ran it initially. I've kind of um, taped the whole inside of it and put shugu everywhere so that the body's a little bit better, but it is starting to crack again. You can see here, it's starting to crack right on the base. I may have to wash this and try to reinforce it a little bit more. I'm pretty sure I can still get a bit more life out of this body. Um, so, and plus, you know, this took a long time to paint as well, because it's a cu custom paint job. So I kind of want to use it as best as I, or as much as I can. Um, now, here is the motor itself, which is this Hobbywing motor. And if you've been following me on social media, you probably would have seen this already. So this is a 4985 can. It's a 1650 KV, um, and it's just a beast of a motor. Now. I'm going to show you a quick clip of me running this at a kind of like a newish location. I've known about this track for a long time because of course if you don't know I can't use my regular track anymore. It's all been dug up. There's a couple of bobcats in there. They're kind of redoing the entire layout and they're going to resurface it all because the BMX club has taken over it so I can't use that track anymore. So I've gone to this other track and I really couldn't figure out where to stand or how to film in there. So the, the video is a little bit all over the place. I've chopped it down so that it just gets to the more interesting bits because then I take it to the Altona track and I'm kind of running it mainly outside of the track, but I'm just having some fun with this truck um, and just trying to get a feel for it with the new motor and everything. And that's really because there were kids using the track at the time. Now, on this day, I also ran, ran my 4S Creighton and I also ran the 3S Typhon. Uh, the 4S Creighton I've already uploaded um, and the 3S Typhon will come uh, very soon as well. So I figured I'll show you the, this thing and just show you what it runs now um, in action, what it does. When I was at the smaller track, I actually broke uh, uh, just a little link thing, a little plastic piece which I replaced and then I went back to Altona and I used it there but then I took one jump and I smashed the shock shaft. Thankfully I've got spares of all these things so I was able to repair this very quickly and, and get everything up and running uh, So because i got a bunch of spares for these trucks which is great. So that's pretty much in a nutshell that's the history of the Crazy Chaos Reaper. I absolutely love this truck. I love this project. Um, I wish I could do more of them like this, uh, you know, with various different cars. Uh, it's just been a lot of fun experimenting and just finding out what works and what doesn't work. And, you know, these types of motors are really good for like speed runs, which I can understand why a lot of guys use them for speed runs. I know some people use them on boats as well and a few other applications, but for bashing and jumping, that's probably not the best thing because the screws are so small holding those caps um, onto the actual can. 
but that's pretty much it guys I'm gonna leave it here enjoy the running video um, and of course if you enjoy this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you're new and as always check out the video description I'll try and have more information in there uh, for both of these beasts because I uh, yeah these send reapers they're awesome trucks and yeah I'm, I'm look, looking forward to doing more videos uh, of them for you that's it for me thank you for watching and I'll speak to you all next time all right so this is a new track because uh, my old track is now officially out of bounds and uh, I don't know I haven't I've never actually driven on this track before I don't know where's the best place to uh, stand and and do these types of videos but we'll see if we can get some good air out of this thing and uh, yeah make it somewhat worth watchable I know that jump there is begging to be launched off oh big kick up in the rear big slam on that rear end too I'm still running the same 13 to pinion that I was last time that was better yeah this has a lot of power I think I need to uh, thicken up my center diff though I can see the front bleeding out quite a lot and oh god, oh god I think I've hit the wall Let's see how we go here. Ooh, so smooth. Around the bin. There's a bit of mud and stuff here. Nice. Still upright. This has a lot of power. Let's launch it from this side. Nice. All right, I'm starting to find a bit of a rhythm here. No. Oh, no. Thank you. I do want to go fetch. Beautiful. Oh, come on. Yeah, I definitely need to uh, thicken up that center diff. I can see a lot of power bleeding to the front. Whoa! Still good. Hang on, it's coming. There it is. <laughs> I used the force on that one. All right, let's try it again. Nice. Landing on soft grass, always a bonus. Yeah, too much power to the front wheels. Got to tune that center diff. All right, here we go. That was harsh. Oh, come on. Yeah. That was a hard hit on the front end. But we're good. We are good. Body's holding on. That's a good thing. Whoops. <laughs> you forget how much power you have and you just peg it that little bit too hard. <laughs> yeah, alright. I can see this working here a little bit. Let's see if we can hit that jump from underneath here. Oh! Because why not? Man, this thing is a brute. Nice.
Oh, it's just too much fun. That is way too much fun. Man, this thing's got some power. Loving this motor, by the way. Just not feeling the way the center dip is at the moment. I didn't realize that it bled so much to the front. <laughs> Tuck and roll, they said. Tuck and roll. Oh, I just love doing wheelies. That thing's awesome. How awesome it is to drive something this big. Oh. oh, there we go. We've done some damage. We finally killed it. Wonder what's happened. Wonder what's happened. Let's investigate. And there we are, big snapperoo. Right there on that piece. On the right end. That pop that broke right there. I'm pretty sure I got spares of these. This is I think the first part I've broken on either of my sand reapers to be honest with you um i think i damaged i think i did damage my um one of my uh, shock rod ends at one point that's really the the biggest damage i've done but as far as snapping something i think this is the first time if i can remember correctly so yeah pretty impressed overall um but yeah still got to get into the groove of this track uh i know it's probably not as smooth running as uh, as the other track it's my first time here and uh, yeah, we've uh, managed to break an RC. All right, so we're out here with the crazy Chaos Reaper. And uh, we're just doing some basic paddock bashing. <laughs> just getting a little crazy with it. And just seeing what this thing can do as we're probably going to be taking it out to the BMX in just a minute. <laughs> Recovery. Recovery of the year, that one. This thing has so much power. Oh. What's happened there? Okay, something's going on. There we go. I thought something something was cutting out or something. I don't know what was going on there. All right. So we're on success, obviously. And I'm noticing that <laughs> there is a... Um, there's a lot of power. This thing's a little crazy. Suspension's probably a little stiff, but we are going to be jumping it, so it's expected. All right, let's change the location. I think they're gathering a little bit of an audience at the moment, which is kind of cool always. People don't expect these things to jump as much as they do or have as much power as they do. So it always attracts a bit of a crowd. <laughs> it has so much power. It just doesn't like to turn very well. The suspension's a little bit too hard, I think. You can see it sort of bouncing around a little bit. Very, very light. So it doesn't weigh nowhere near as much as, uh, as its nearest competitor. Get back on your feet. There you go. All right, let's see if we can hit some jumps. Right, let's go from here. See if we can line up a jump from from over there. Come out this way. That worked out all right. I tip. I don't know where it is. 
Oh, there it is. That's some pretty big air. And of course, now that I want to be here, everybody wants to be here. So much fur in this thing. Say the repaired body is working. <laughs> Keeping it on two wheels. This thing definitely knows how to attract the crowd. <laughs> it's crazy, alright? Living up to its name. Come on! Yes! Here we go. Let's see if we can line this up. Oh, there's a bit of a puddle. Can't get grip. Come on. What did we break? Snapped the shock shaft. Done. Lucky I got space. <laughs>